Hello. So Yuki has been having this issue lately, or just ever since I got home really, that sh like it, she shakes whenever I start her. Ow! And um, kind of like, and I don't know what that is. So there's a lot of things that we just need to take over to my dad's and figure it out. So today I'm going to my dad's for the first time. He hasn't seen her since I had left. And he'll just give her a check over and see what's going on. I really want to learn how to change the oil, so maybe I'll change the oil for the first time for myself. We're going to put on some off-road lights. I really want to put on a roof rack. She's been fine. Like, we drove all the way across the country with absolutely no issues. And to be honest, if there were any issues, I would have ignored them and just kept driving because <laughs> I was over it at that point. Let's go over to my dad's and see what's going on. If you happen to be new here, my name is Victoria. I converted this Jeep to travel around the United States, and I did. It's a high mileage, very 1998 Jeep Cherokee. It now has officially 267,549 miles on it. We put all, a lot of miles on it. The past few months, I've really learned a lot about vehicles. I have to prime her every time I start her up. Okay, so she's, yeah, there's a bit of a shake. It's, you can't tell on camera, but it's just like, kinda. Yeah, she still runs just fine. And whenever she runs for a bit, it kind of sorts itself out. Today, I really want to install, and this video is sponsored by Novsay Off-Road Lighting. They sent me these a while ago, and I'm just getting around to installing them because I wasn't comfortable doing it by myself. I want to install these off-road lights Finally, because I've carried them with me this entire USA adventure. Kind of fix up Yuki, replace some things that might need replaced. Um, just get her running good and maybe I'll take her to Canada. But let's open this up. So here are the lights we're gonna install. I think they're gonna make her look pretty cool too. Like I said, it's going to be on a bumper like this, and we need to see we're going to have our adjustment here. So. All right, so we'll fish it right through there. We have our lights put on. Now, my bumper is obviously not the best bumper, so it's not that aesthetic, but we got that done, so. Now we're gonna wire everything up. Cool. I'm gonna take a brief intermission here because I wanted to show you something. I'm making some warm wine. Uh, the pine needle, the pine needle wine was a great success. It was delicious. So while I'm away, we'll make another one and let it sit for half a year, a year, whatever, and. Amish are building my mom's sheep fence, which I think that they might be done now. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, this is not related to my sheep at all, but since I've done this before, I just wanted to do it real quick. So I asked a friend who's a professional in flavor combinations, uh, what I should make, because I want to make something unique, like pine needle wine. They said pineapple and cardamom, but I don't actually have any cardamom, so I'm going to replace it with cinnamon and ginger pineapple wine which is still very unique and weird, and who knows if it'll work out, but that's what I'm gonna make today. A lot of sugar. Oh, yeah, it smells like vomit, mom, smell it. No, no, it smells like yeast. That's the same thing. All right. Uh, I did make the wine, by the so way. Now I need to go to the store and get the oil that I need for changing the oil on this thing, which is six quarts and oil filter. And I also got my roof rack in the back, I'll show you, to install as well. So I'm very excited about that. All right, let's go in and get the stuff that we need. Okay, so I got the goods. Got this oil filter. I got six quarts of oil, 
And then I got some zip ties for the electrical stuff. So now we're gonna go change the oil. So I'm gonna change the oil for the first time ever. I've never changed the oil before. You're supposed to change it every 3,000 miles or every three months or something like that. But we waited a little longer because it's only been a, a couple months. So I'm gonna change the oil now. Okay, I wanna see how good you are. Look at that size and match it up with this. You're a blogger, no. Are you gonna give me more chance? Are you covering it up? I need to see the sizes. Nope. Nope. What? I think you're wrong. With my eyesight. Little you're play. Wrong. Little play. You're wrong. I knew it. Wait. The first one that I guessed. Okay, now it's not. Okay, take it off. Put that ratchet out of the way. He comes out, let it drop. <laughs> okay, let it drop. I'll just take it off. It's kind of hot. Let it, let it drip out. Let it drip out. Get your hand out of it. Let it just drip out. We opened it up, now let it drip. And there's the oil, extra oil that's in. And the oil. It's, 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 it's warm. It's warm oil. Yeah, but it's pretty transparent. You know, so you can take that up. Now, what, it's going to fall, so you got to watch it. When you do, bring it down here and put it right here, upside down. Right. Just like that. Good job. Now tip it over. <laughs> tip it over and put it right there. It's like a double church of work. <laughs> see, how, see how it raises it? Yeah. And like your hands. Yeah, it's like blood. You know, blood just have to get put to work. Right? Okay, now what I want you to do is take this, put a little oil here, from here, and rub it around your finger and rub it like your fingers. Like a tune, you gotta be in your fish for it. You start the threads. Get it in the right position. Don't worry about getting the greasy because that's the way it's going to make it You just get in here and get the job done. I think next inspection. She's a beaut. Who need those? It's okay. I got my stickers. <laughs> I'm still waiting on another set of scratches, but let's see how the how big these are. They look quite small, but oh, these are a good size, I think. Ta -da! <laughs> I'm gonna put these on the sides of the front. I love Jurassic Park. It's shaped who I am today. So I'm gonna take these and put them up up there. I think it looks amazing. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna like draw on my, my Jeep. We'll just see. I think this is pretty. Oh, 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 don't crinkle. I didn't actually look up any directions. I don't think there are any directions to kind of go for it. No, I totally put that on so crooked. I need to, I need to do this better and then come back. I'm, I'm under too much pressure. Look, I already stretched it out. Absolutely shoddy job, but <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and get those creases out. It is next impossible to put on without the creases. Anyways, from a distance, it looks amazing, and I'm so happy with it. This is becoming my dream vehicle. All right, so I wanted to show you what these off-road lights look like in the dark. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on, but I have the caps on, so I'm gonna take the cap off. Da, 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 da. Phew, we have lights. Look at that. Now, to be fair, they're not completely straight because my bumper is not completely straight. That's very helpful for off-roading at nighttime when just the lights aren't enough. So I'll turn on the lights 
And we don't want to be leaving these on without the engine running, but so cool. The little adventure mobile. Another option is Amber Beam and it comes with these covers and it's designed for foggy or low visibility. Also if you wanted to buy other ones from Novasite, they have Flood Beam which is good for wide area illumination, Spot Beam which is what I have and it's good for long distance, and Combo Beam which offers balance of both Flood and Spot. So I just went into Goodwill. I was going to get a fitted sheet that would go over top of the sleeping pad that I had because it's not very comfortable but I figured it'd be a lot cheaper just to get something from the thrift store. So I got this comforter. I think it's down filled. It feels comfortable for $10. I don't know if it's a good deal or not, but now that I don't have my tire in here, I can probably just keep the bed down always and make it more comfortable. I'm at a state park right now and I want to go for a bike ride. So I'm going to rent one of these bikes and try and do 12 miles. But yesterday, I uh, put some WD-40 on this so it stopped it from squeaking. No more squeaks. We put on some extra bungee straps to make sure the tire's safe and in. Um, I put in some fuel injector cleaner in the gas. Took the bu air bubbles out of my <laughs> stickers. Ugh, they just... Ugh, that was what, that's what it, Yuki needed. And then I also switched out the... Um, the covers for these orange ones that came with it, which is much better because it'll shield it from bugs and stuff and then and mud. So one of my lovely, lovely, beautiful, wonderful followers sent me their drone that they don't use anymore. It was the same type of drone I had before. The second time I tried to get a shot of the lake. And the problem around here using a drone is there's so many trees everywhere. And I was trying to maneuver it so I could get out of the tree area and just go up and I didn't get that far because I crashed into a tree and then it fell into the water. And I'm just, I'm, so, I'm more so disappointed because they sent me their, their drone and I literally crashed it within two times of using it. I rushed it home and I put the hair dryer on it, took the battery out and then put it in a bag of rice. I was so excited that I could get drone shots again. I can't be trusted with it. switch out the headlamps real fast here. My friend sent me some, so I'm just gonna put them in real quick. I can't believe I actually fixed my drone. I took it apart twice and I tried to make sure all the, the strips and everything were connected and I just tried to secure everything even though everything looked fine. The second time the codes went away and anyways, I'm going to end this video here. These are all the upgrades. I'm going to give you a nice little tour around before we actually end the video of what I did with Yuki. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. She's still running great, great, as great as she runs. I am in love with the aesthetic. I know that she's old and stuff. You really shouldn't put too much money into old vehicles, but I don't know. I think, I think all of this is perfect for the next trip. I won't have to move the tire. Um, the only thing is it's not very stealthy anymore. The next thing that I do need to do is clean out the inside, get it all ready for the next trip, which is Canada. And in Canada, I'm going to go and get another tattoo for my tattooed leg. It's going to be right here. I'm really excited and nervous about it. And um, yeah, I'm just focused on crossing the border. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for anyone who's bought things off my wish list to put on Yuki. Thank you to anyone who's supported me in any type of way. This has been a, an amazing journey and it's gonna continue on. So stay tuned for more adventures. I'm gonna see you in the next video.